present, many eye pathologies have the alteration of the eye's privileged immune system in common. The eye's privileged immune system has the objective of protecting the eye from infections, minimizing inflammation and activating a process of complex interrelation making it complicated, if not impossible, to fully understand. The more we investigate microorganisms, innate immunity, adaptive immunity, receptors, substances produced by involved cells, etc., the more the process evolution appears to be so structured and interconnected that we have to continually reevaluate it. Today's treatment for immunomediated illnesses of the eye is the immunosuppression through drugs such as glucocorticoids, cyclosporin A, tacrolimus, doxycycline, etc. As an alternative, we propose immunoregulation using blood stem cells that know the organism and are able to make decisions, acting by the orchestrating the healing of the eye, behaving like a small pharmaceutical company that produces the right drug at the right time in these complex interrelations. Immune-mediated keratitis is a non-ulcerative corneal disease characterized by some of the following clinical symptoms vascularization, edema and inflammatory cell response with the cornea and absence of uveal pathology. In the pathological process uh, there may be temporary painful erosions by nominally the pain is minimal with respect to the dramatic symptoms. This is a pathology with unknown causes by connected to damaging the immune privileged system of the eye surface. The immune mediated keratitis are not specific pathologies classified by clinical presentation and progression, inflammation and response to anti-inflammatory and uh, immunomodulatory therapy. One in three cases doesn't respond to treatment and has to undergo surgery. Here we present the case of a six-year-old dressage horse affected by immunomediated keratitis that was treated for 15 months with the eye drop cycles of tebramycin, dexamethasone, cyclosporine and the NSAID flunixin meglumin intravenously. At the beginning the therapy functioned rapidly and the relapses appeared after long periods but in the end the mare improved only during the treatment and for three days after its suspension. Furthermore, the corneal lesions continued to worsen. The owner and the veterinary were frustrated because the relapses became more frequent with more serious symptoms. The decision was taken to try blood stem cells. The horse was given three cycles in four months. These photos show the horse's high three days after we stopped local therapy. You can see the skin lesions 
under the eye because of continuous watering. The treatment resistant immunomediated keratitis must be one of the most frustrating pathologies to cure for veterinary. With the fluorescein test, small abrasions or depressions around the cornea are evident. Twelve days later, we do the first treatment with autologous stem cells, intravenously, subconjunctival, local perfusion and drops. The cornea is opaque, opaque and there is vascularization. The blood stem cells have increased the inflammation in the first three days and then it regressed. Now, 20 days after the first treatment, there is a slight clothiness of the cornea and vascularization. With the fluorescein test, the small abrasions have disappeared. Less than two months after the first inoculation, the eye is almost normal and the dermatitis on the jaw due to the excessive watering has disappeared. The stem cells treatment was repeated anyway. Two and a half months after, the first inoculation, the cornea is normal, except for the presence of a few blood vessels. The mare, 10 months after therapy, began shows no signs of cloudiness and vascularization. Sixteen months later, the cornea is still normal. Two years I have passed without a relapse. Here, at the beginning of the stem cell therapy, you can see that she still has the shape of a lovely immature mare. You can see how her shape has changed over two years. In the video you can see another horse that has reached adult form. Robbie, her rider, says that after blood stem cell treatment he was able to recover the last time due to the most improved ability that was verified by her winning her first competition and going on to have success in higher categories. Maybe the terrible eye pathology allowed this mare to optimize her psychoneuroendocrine immunitary system by the blood stem cell systemic inoculations that brew out the extraordinary capacities contained within the genius of her royal lineage. In the following two years there were no relapses and now the eye is completely recovered. The horse now participates in high-level dressage competitions and has recovered the time last during the illness.
Given that immunomediated pathologies are frequent and are part of human ophthalmic pathologies, how much benefit could our blood stem cell therapeutic protocol give us? In the cases in which surgery is necessary, we are evaluating, together with Dr. Riccardo Stoppini, one of the best Italian ophthalmic equine veterinary, how much this could improve the results. <music>